You continue to live and discover new things that were once unknown. For many years, humans have been searching for tools or instruments that will aid them in discovering something that cannot be seen by their naked or unaided eyes. The invention of the lens has led to the discovery of the microscope, which helps people see microorganisms. The microscope enables you to explore not only the world of these microorganisms, but also the rules in the world we are living in. Today we will unfold a new chapter, a window to the unseen world. Let's discuss the history of the compound microscope. During the first century, the Romans were already experimenting with glasses. One of these glasses involved having thick middle and thin edges. Ancient Romans discovered that upon placing the glass in a small object, an enlarged image of the small object is produced. Such discovery, however, was not used until the invention of spectacles during the 13th century. They were called lenses, which came from the Latin word lentil, because it is shaped like a lentil bean. These lenses can magnify the images of an object 10 times their actual sizes. Because many people were often using this to view fleas and other tiny creeping animals, they were called flea glasses. Zacharias Janssen from 1580 to 1638, a Dutch spectacle maker, was credited with creating the very first microscope. It was believed that he had help from his father, Hans Jensen, because the microscope was created during the 1590s, where Zacharias was still young at that time. Father and son made said device by putting several lenses together, which greatly magnified the image of the object that was being observed. So instruments such as the microscope allows you to investigate microorganisms and other life forms on earth. Instruments like this can be used to observe small objects, even cells. Several years later, Antoine van Leeuwenhoek from 1632 to 1723 was able to make a compound microscope that had a higher magnification than early compound microscopes. He was inspired to make one after seeing Robert Hooke's book Micrographia, which included Hooke's observations with a small piece of cork. The small compartments that were observed using the microscope are known as cells okay, by Robert Hooks. Lewin Hook developed ways to make superior lenses by grinding and polishing 550 lenses to make his new lens true, which can magnify the images of the objects more than 200 times. Okay, so Lewin Hook's version of the microscope enable him to discover organisms such as bacteria and microscopic protists. The microscope allows you to see things that cannot be seen by the unaided eyes. Okay, so this happens due to its properties such as magnification and resolution. So what do you think is the difference between magnification and resolution? So magnification is the ability to make the images of a small objects bigger up to a certain number of times than their actual sizes. While resolution is the ability to distinguish between parts of a certain 
object. Okay, so the dimension of microorganisms, usually their length are measured in micrometers when viewed under the microscope. Today, many microscopes can magnify objects up to more than 10,000 times their actual sizes.